Hello guys, this video is going to be about headphone and earphone recommendations for those who need the help on purchasing their next pair. The headphones and earphones that I'm recommending are mainly to be used in a portable setup. For those who are audiophiles, such as myself, may find some headphones and earphones worthy to be recommended, but not on this list. It's because that they are either not a great choice for portable use and or they weren't good enough to be in my top five, in my opinion. Also, keep in mind that these headphones and earphones that I recommend will sound great out of an MP3 player, laptop, or phone, but will improve the better the source is. I hope this video will help you out if you are finding it hard to choose a great set of headphones or earphones in your budget. The following recommendations are amongst the budget list of headphones and earphones. The Sennheiser HD201. These offer a very clear sound. It is slightly tilted to the treble a bit, but not enough to ruin the musicality of these headphones. For those who are wondering what musicality is, it's basically like the um how how musical the headphone is, whether it's if it's balanced and natural, and does it does it sound the way the music should sound? So that is basically the musicality. The noise isolation is decent, but not recommended if you're using these at a noisy area. Highly recommended for those looking for clarity and detail at a very low price. The New Force NE7M. This earphone offers a microphone for use with your iPhone, which is very convenient for those who are looking for that convenience. It has a very balanced and musical sound, which is very detailed and clear as well. Good noise isolation that will block out a good amount of sound from the outside world. This is highly recommended for those looking for a great low cost earphone that will work with their iPhone in terms of calling capabilities. The Maximo IM590. These earphones have a very spot on tonality in its music presentation. Once again, for those wondering what tonality is, tonality is how true to life the instruments, voices, etc. sound. For the price, it's a steal. Good noise isolation that will block out a good amount of sound from the outside world. And it's highly recommended for the most bang for your buck in this list. The Koss Porter Pro. The Porter Pros are a long timer, being produced since the 90s. Till then, these headphones offer sound quality higher than its price tag, along with a lightweight design and a lifetime warranty. The noise isolation on these headphones is nearly non-existent, so I'd recommend these for uses in a quiet, a quiet area such as a library or in a school, if you can listen to them while you're in school. Highly recommend it for those who want a great pair of headphones but want great comfort as well due to their light design. The Cost Case KSC 75. These are really good for the active lifestyle due to their clip-on design. They also offer outstanding sound quality for the price. The noise isolation isn't good, but that's actually a good thing if you're using these for exercising while you're outside because it would allow you to hear your surroundings a lot better. High recommended, I mean highly recommended for those for the consumer engaged in an active lifestyle but also wants great sound quality for a low price. The following recommendations are amongst middle range of headphones. The Sennheiser HD25 1 2. These headphones are for one, built like a tank and offer superb sound quality. Crystal clear treble, neutral and full mid range with a nice lean and detailed bass response. These headphones as you can see does not set looks as a priority. For those who don't care about the way their headphone looks, you're, you're getting the best sound in headphone in this list. The noise isolation is very good so you won't be distracted by outside noise. It's highly recommended for those whose first priority is sound quality. The Fireton MS400. This headphone is special to me. Why, you may ask? Well, just look at them. They are stylish, comfortable, built to last, and most importantly, they have the sound quality to back it all up, unlike the whole of the Beats headphone lineup from Monster Electronics. The sound from the Fireton MS400 is more consumer friendly in the sense that the bass takes a more upfront presentation over the rest of the frequencies. The bass does not overpower anything else, 
though but for those looking for a little more bass in their music this headphone is for you the noise isolation is good so they will block out a good amount of noise outside they are highly recommended for those who are fashion who are basically they're fashion aware that they like to look good while they're outside and also they want great sound quality as well so I will greatly recommend these over the beats by Dr. Dre Studios or Pros because they sound better and in my opinion the fire tones look better Creative Arvana Live. These are the cheapest headphones on the list, but still offer sound quality that can keep up with the big boys in this list. They are bass heavy headphones with a very full mid range. They have a very good clarity in the mid range and a nice dimensional sound, which makes the sound stage have very good depth in addition to the width. So it really feels like you're in the concert with these, hence the name Live. The noise isolation on these are okay, but you will find yourself distracted by the outside noise if you are in a noisy area. The Audio Technica M50. Very worthy headphones for the price, which betters the Beats by Dr. Dre Studios for one third of the price. Out of this whole list, nothing does sub bass better than these. You will feel the rumble from your music very well with these headphones, along with great, cl great clarity and a neutral sound signature. The noise isolation is very good so using these outside will put you in your own world of music. Highly recommended to those who want a studio quality portable headphone with a powerful sub bass response. The AKG K181 DJ. For those looking for a headphone made for clubbing music, that, then this is your headphone. The cup swivel which is very convenient for DJs. So when you're in a like you're basically you're in a DJ, you could just swivel the cup, and then instead of just taking the whole um, side of the headphone off, you could just swivel it out, and you can hear the um, the music as well through yeah the the air that the cover has swiveled from. The sound from these is more bass oriented with a natural and clear mid range along with a smooth treble. There is also a bass boost switch on the side of the headphone for those who desire it. The noise isolation is simply amazing and is comparable to in-ear monitors. Highly recommended to those who work as a DJ or want to, or want to, um, a high isolating headphone with great sound to boot. The following recommendations are amongst middle range of earphones. The Audio Technica ATH CK10. Clarity, speed, and detail are what I best associate this headphone with. The sound is very, very clear and precise. It's like taking a magnified glass to your music. The treble on these are a bit boosted, but the bass and mid-range are still natural and clear as well. The noise isolation is amazing due to this being an in-ear monitor. Highly recommended to those who want a very detailed presentation of their music. The AirSonic SM3. The AirSonic SM3 has a very balanced and natural sound that sounds as good as the music you feed it. They are mid-range oriented but I wouldn't call the bass or treble rolled off. These present the detail naturally and suited for stage monitoring. The noise isolation is amazing due to this being an in-ear monitor and it's highly recommended to those who want to, to, want to just hear the music in a very pure state. The JH5 Pro. The JH5 Pro is a custom earphone or an in-ear monitor, so you will need to order these in a different process by first visiting an audiologist to get your ear impressions from your ears and then sending them off to JH Audio to have them build you your JH5s. The sound quality of these will compete with or beat the best of the best universal earphones. The bass is very full and dynamic with a full mid-range and laid-back treble that some may find a bit lacking in its attack. The noise isolation is perfect being that this is a custom earphone or an in-ear monitor. Highly recommended to those who want amazing sound along with perfect comfort and noise isolation. The Ortofon EQ7. The Ortofon is a very special earphone. It utilizes a new type of speaker which is called a moving armature. The mid-range on these are very seductive and full with a nice and robust bass response and smooth treble. This earphone has the detail and speed capabilities of a balanced armature along with the fullness and natural tone of a dynamic speaker. The noise isolation is amazing due to it being an in-ear monitor. And it's highly recommended to those who want a very smooth and natural sound.
the Westone 3. The Westone 3 is, a, is basically the ultimate consumer earphone. Why, you may ask? It offers a sound signature that will appeal to the masses while still retaining clarity and detail. The bass is monstrous along with a slightly tipped up treble. This gives the impression of an energetic, I mean, an energetic presentation of your music. The noise isolation is amazing due to it being an in-ear monitor and it's highly recommended to those who want a very energetic and lively presentation of their music all while still packing awesome clarity and detail. The following recommendations are amongst the best of the best. The JH13 Pro. Stepping into the sound of the JH13 Pro will leave you mesmerized as you finally begin to truly hear your music in its natural and untouched form. The sound is amazingly detailed and spacious with a very scary realism to the presentation of your songs. The noise isolation is perfect being that this is a custom earphone or an in-ear monitor. Highly recommended to those who want to hear the way music is supposed to sound with no spices added to it. The JH16 Pro. The JH16 Pro is basically the JH13 Pro with a slight boost to the sub bass, which some may like or dislike. The added emphasis down there doesn't protrude into the lower mid range. Though the JH13 Pro displays your music naturally and untouched, the JH16 Pro does that as well with a more with more impact down low. Keep in mind the JH13 Pro doesn't lack bass though. The noise isolation is perfect being that this is a custom earphone or in-ear monitor. Highly recommended for the audiophiles who want a strong bass presentation all while not sacrificing anything else. The UE18 Pro. The UE18 Pro is ultimate ears answer to the JH13 Pro. Though not as detailed and reference sound as the JH13 Pro, the UE18 Pro has a very beautiful sound that captivates you with its mid-range. The detail and clarity is stunning and the sound is very spacious as well, but it costs $1,350, which is $200 more than the JH16 Pro, while not better in it. The noise isolation is perfect being that it's a custom earphone or an in-ear monitor. It's highly recommended for those who want a europhonic sound. The JH11 Pro, the cheapest of the bunch in this list but still offering jaw dropping sound quality. The bass is up front in the presentation of the JH11 but the other frequencies do not suffer from this as well. The clarity and detail capabilities of these are very good but obviously not on par with the others in this list. The noise isolation is perfect being that this is a custom earphone or an in-ear monitor. Highly recommended to those who want to spend I mean, actually, highly recommend to those who don't want to spend too much money and not sacrifice too much on the sound quality as well. The AirSonics EM3 Pro. The AirSonics EM3 Pro is basically the SM3 on steroids. It still has that natural and balanced sound signature that, but with increased clarity and detail in a more spatial sound stage. What you put into this earphone is what will come out, natural and beautiful. The noise isolation is perfect being that this is a custom earphone or an in-ear monitor. Highly recommended to those who want to hear the music in a very natural state. So this is pretty much the ending of this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them. And if you can, you can subscribe as well. And you can rate this video depending on how you felt about it. So I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching guys.